What strikes me as being unusual here is that you've invented an absolute system module, which is everything. So you have the camera, you have the AI software, and the chip, all in one neat packaging. Yeah, actually, and within the device, it's all on one chip, other than yeah. the battery. Good morning, IP Exchange community. We are today now at the second day of CES, and we've come across a new company that has a very innovative way of how you take an industrial camera and a sensor, and then use AI to understand what's going on. So, I'm going to introduce you to David, who's the CEO of AI Storm. Explain to us what you have in there. All right, so one of the big problems in uh, a lot of industries, for example, buildings, retail, and so forth, is cameras that can be used to retrofit that will last for a long time on a battery. And so one of the myths is that a normal camera could last, say, two years on a battery in a busy environment. It's just not the case. So these cameras will literally last one to two years, yep. just on some four, for example, AA batteries. They network with each other, so you can just install them in different places. So we can do people tracking, we can create um, the traffic pattern, we can see if they're looking at displays, looking at different things, showing interest, engaging with a product. We do face recognition. We can do what we call trusted customer, which is you walk up to a cabinet, say at a pharmacy that's locked, and it just unlock if it knows who you are. Yeah. And so basically we're opening up this world of um, IoT throughout real infrastructure, buildings, um, everything from apartments to retail yeah. stores, even yeah. convention centers like this. And we have audio imaging and other devices that all network together yep. to really understand your real Our community who have been seeing our videos over, over yesterday, mm -hmm. we met, this is CES, AI is everywhere. What we've come across is AI chip companies that have an industrial camera and then takes the data, their chip then sits next to the processor and their software then interprets and ta uses AI to do the things that you've just described. What strikes me as being unusual here is that you've invented an absolute system module, mm -hmm. which is everything. So you have the camera, you have the AI software, mm -hmm. and the chip mm -hmm. all in one neat packaging. Yeah, actually, and within the device, it's all on one chip other than the yeah. battery. So the two things that make us very unique, the first is we're not digital. So we actually use a charge domain method. So our AI is actually running the pixels. So it would take a 600 gigahertz digital system to keep up with us. And so what this gives us is performance and latency that nobody else can offer. But also in the world of um, pixels, you have very, very clean signals, very low signal to noise ratio, they call it. That's why they look at stars with this kind of technology. Right. And because it's so clean, we actually can make our signals really small and save a lot of power. And so our, we're typically 200 times less power than a digital solution, which is why if you put our camera against any digital solution out there, they're going to burn out in a few weeks in a busy environment. Right. It will last years. Right. So it's a totally radical technology. We're backed by major companies from ASUS to Aegis Tech, all sorts of guys like that, that have seen this technology, invested in it, believe in it, but it's a totally different way to do AI. Right. There's no one else doing it the same way. Right, right. So from, from, from our community's point of view, when they are looking to do things like face recognition or people movement, for instance, yeah. they would have to put together various kinds of solutions, yeah. which I described at the beginning, which would, they'd have to find themselves a camera supplier, yeah. they'd have to find themselves the, 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 the power battery management solution, they'd have to find their chip and then they'd have to find their software and then find a way of putting it all together. Right. What you're suggesting here, or you're not suggesting, it does actually exist, it's here, here is the camera, here is the chip, here is the battery, here is the software, all in one neat package, which is from everything that we've seen at uh, CES and we've introduced over the last 24 hours since we've been here, we've seen no one that has put all of that together in one simple module. So uh, if any of our community is interested in putting this kind of package in, into the field, how can they evaluate that today? 
So the devices, the chips, are available on DigiKey, and then we also do custom housings for the different fencing and housing solutions. Right. You know, the, the physical plastics, as yeah. you want to call it that. But um, just contact us at www.aistorm.com. Uh, well, David's forgot to actually say there, <laughs> yeah. which is easily done, which is to go to ipexchange.tech community. There because that's how you're going to get to evaluate this technology because it's the easiest and simplest way to do that. Excellent. <laughs> very good chat. Thank very you very much. much. Thank you. Good.